Welcome everyone, Kaiser here and welcome to the next episode of Sid Meier's Pirates. Now, when last we left off, we decided that we are going to try and make our way down to Kumana. Uh, I'm very sorry if that's not the way how to pronounce it. I tried checking up on how to pronounce it, but there's so many uh, different variations. Like some people say Kumana, some people say Kumane. I'm just gonna go with Kumana, hopefully that's the closest one. Hopefully, uh, but yeah, we decided we're basically gonna be visiting the cities uh, or rather ports on our way down to Kumana uh, We will most likely meet Captain Kidd somewhere around there also in Kumana is uh, the villain the 5000 reward villain um, Mr. I Fox which I suppose is uh a parody to the anonymous fox uh, name. Also in Kurosawa, I believe that we can actually get some upgrades. Now, the way that we are going to try and get to Kumana is, if you saw on the map, there's a um, monastery. Not a not a monastery. Sorry, a um, what is it called? Basically, there's an abbot there <laughs> that can give us, possibly give us amnesty with the Spanish. That will basically lower any sort of uh, hatred from the... Oh, no, actually, I have enough info as far as that goes. Uh, cotton sales, that's fine. Curacao, yeah, see, bronze ships, just like we thought. Let me check in with the governor. Perfidious. Hey, there we go, we're now a French governor. You see, even though we actually destroyed one of their ships, because we've been uh, muscling in, or just rather beating on the f Spanish, f f f f f he says, uh, so attractive daughter has invited us to a ball, let's go and actually try and get some information from her. I, I'm very sorry guys if uh, these balls become tedious to you, uh, if you would like, I can possibly like please leave it in the comments like if you would like I will most likely just leave in the comments the uh, timestamp for when the balls are done so that you can possibly skip them I will try to talk more during these balls or maybe give you some interesting information or anything of the sort about the pirates that we're hunting about the uh, going-ons during that time in fact right now I remember that Last, like in the first episode, I mentioned how the quote unquote pirates had many names. Among them, pirates, uh, buccaneers, corsairs, and privateers. Now, if I remember correctly, I already told you what, uh, what the pi name pirate and buccaneer, I missed that, or rather, I was just late on it. So what the, uh, so I already told you what pirates and buccaneers, oh come on, I overrode that. Buccaneers mean... Let's try to salvage this. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe it's because of the speed of this dance, but I was not able to override. Are you kidding me? That's it! Wow, okay, so she is not going to be happy with us. We still get a gift. Apparently this instrument eight sailing near storms and hurricanes. Yeah, that will give us additional speed probably, which is nice. So let's quickly leave. Do we go for Antigua? I don't think we could do. Let's just head for Guadalupe. Uh, so yeah, I already told you what pirates and buccaneers mean. But I have not yet told you what was the difference between all of these and the buccaneers. As, uh, I'm not, sorry, not the Buccaneers, but between Buccaneers and Pirates and then Corsairs and Privateers. Now, the main difference uh, in privateering, the main difference from being a pirate is basically that you were sanctioned by a letter of mark, just like we got from basically all, everyone but the Spanish for now. Uh, and that basically meant that you had a legal right sanctioned by the nation that you got the letter of mark from to raid and pillage their enemy ships in their name plain daughter but sure it is an invitation to a ball so that's always good once again a pretty slow dance so i might actually be able to talk without messing up 
too badly like I did the last two times. Very sorry about that again. Then again, I suppose I should be sorry to myself because I'm the one messing up as much. Uh, so yeah, that's what privateer mean, meant. Basically, uh, anyone that got a letter of mark could go out and, for instance, if the English were at war with the Spanish, uh, the person could raid Spanish ships, uh, and basically, they did have to leave a part of the hall to the governor, or rather, the king of the nation that sanctioned him. So he uh, couldn't keep the entirety of the hall, but he could keep most, uh, I mean, a part of it. Uh, and for all of those of you that might be interested, Henry Morgan, while he was known as the uh, most famous buccaneer captain, so to speak, he was a privateer, not a pirate, even though he is the first among the top 10 most notorious pirates in this game. I don't think we messed up a single time, so that's awesome. Hopefully she actually gives us some information. She does not. Uh, I mean, the more gifts we get, the quicker we are going to exhaust our options, or rather their options for what to give us. So once we actually have all the gifts, they will have no choice but to give us the information that we need. Also, it might be because she's only a rather plain daughter that we're getting gifts instead of the information we really need, but... I can't really tell if that is indeed it. What do we go for? Do we upgrade the pistols and make sure that the enemy starts two steps behind? Or do we go for a set of balanced swords that basically increases our speed? I think we're actually going to go for the brace pistols. I mean, we're still going to be able to get the aforementioned... Sure, I'll take the part this way. Even he has no other choice but to actually give us the information that we want. There we go. So, if I'm not mistaken, one single hit is going to... Yep, let us kick him. That is quite a Muay Thai kick, actually, or a kickboxing kick. I'm not sure. I used to train kickbox. I trained it for, like, eight years. Uh... And I remember that these kicks used to hurt like hell. Especially if you were not quick enough to actually defend yourself. Treasure Fleet. Spanish is headed for Caracas. Now, what does it mean that a fleet is going there? Does that mean that there are multiple treasure ships? Also, I am very sorry about the pronunciation of the city. As always, I am not a native of these... Um, name so I might continue messing them up. Wait, no, we were al already here, right? The king has ordered me to dispatch the offer of peace to the English city of Antigua. Um, I doubt an escort is necessary. I won't really be going back up. I want to be going down. Giggity-giggity-goo. Pirates attack the city of Antigua. And we just went smack into the middle of that storm, didn't we? Alright, so there's Martinique. Right, another thing I got wrong with the Bart Roberts story was the um, the initials on Bart Roberts' uh, Jolly Roger. I think I said something around the lines of... like I'm not even going to repeat what I said, but basically the initials were actually ABH and uh, AMH, meaning a, um, a Barbadian head, if I'm not mistaken, and a Martinican head. Uh, the story behind it is still the same, I at least got that part right. <laughs> so, he went after both of them for what they did. Well, hope you escape from captivity. No, I don't really intend on getting captured, so that's fine. Uh, the English, no, we're not really gonna be messing with them. Have you been introduced to the... Yeah, you're telling me the same thing that the other guy told me. Uh, let's head here. 
rather plain daughter again, but sure. Let's just exhaust the options for the items. The quicker we do that, the quicker we'll actually start getting better information. Like, at this point, I'm pretty sure that even information about criminals is better because, as you saw, even one criminal can be like 5,000 gold pieces, which is a lot. Especially, I mean, at least in these quote unquote starting months, though I don't really know if I can call these starting months considering we've already been to sea for about two years, maybe even more. I didn't really check. We started when we were at sea for like 20 months. There we go. So far, so good. I really don't want to jinx it. Uh, right, might as well also tell you what Corsairs meant. Corsair was basically just a word that nations called pirates sanctioned by somebody else, or possibly even unsanctioned, uh, that were constantly attacking them. So instead of calling them pirates, they simply called them Corsairs, uh, which had actually an even more negative connotation than being called pirates, apparently. That is why, for instance, uh, even Henry Morgan, I believe, was called a Corsair by the Spanish, and he uh, apparently reportedly admitted that he hated the fact that they call him that, but then again, he kind of was the bane of the Spanish. If I'm not mistaken, Henry Morgan was even called the Sword of England, because he was simply nailing on the... Yeah, apparently, these plain daughters basically just give you gifts instead of information, so that's good. A uh, Spanish rudder, fencing shirt, puffy, <laughs> set of balance swords, what do we go for here? Uh, the rudder basically just gives you information about these small settlements that you haven't gone uh, through yet, uh, that you haven't uh, found yet, and it basically tells you where they are so that you know where the monasteries and stuff like that are. Uh, but I think we'll just go for the set of balance swords this time. Let's keep our enemies on their toes with our speed. Uh, let's see, Santa Laura. Do we go for Barbados or do we go straight for Kumana? Uh, Tom's Rest, I believe, is where Captain Kidd is located, so I guess let's just go for there. Or... Since we actually got the last piece of Captain Kidd's uh, treasure map, maybe Bill will actually tell us something about Baron Raimondo. So let's actually go to Barbados, just in case. You never know. Uh, yeah, our crew is really unhappy, so we will probably want to raid some more ships and, as cruel as it might sound, but get some of our men killed. So do we, I keep clicking the merchant without having to. Oh, we'll just fix that just in case so that it doesn't slow us down. Bill, what do you got for me? No, I do not need that. That is not useful for me, Bill. You disappointed me, Bill. No, we're not gonna take even more people on. Uh, sure, let's just visit the... Soon you might be... Attractive daughter. This one might actually give us some... Inf some useful information. Uh, so the dance is very slow, which means that I will not have as many opportunities to actually fix my mistakes. So let's try and not do anything wrong. Almost missed that just as I say that. Alright. There we go, towards you. We are actually doing very well. And before he jinxes it. I'm actually kind of uh, bummed, yeah, like, okay, of, co of course they're gonna add, um... Henry Morgan into the game, but I was kind of expecting them to maybe add Davy Jones as well. 
Though, I'm actually not sure if he's just a Legend of Ir or if he was an actual pirate. I believe he was an actual pirate. That became a legend afterwards. Davy Jones Locker. I know I said that it's a very slow dance, but god, it's a long one. I am very sorry if it becomes tedious, just like I said. There we go, that's the information I need. I believe you have a sister who has been missing for many years. The evil Spaniard Baron Raimondo has information that might be of value. He is currently hiding in the city of Santa Marta, which is... Um, yum, yum, yum. Where? I mean... At least it's in the west? Eh? So that's good? Who are they fighting over there? What are those? Transporting new governor, Spanish raider. Uh, he already got him. Okay, never mind then. I was gonna try and save the uh, uh, governor. What are you? Trade galleon. Wait, we said we need to raid a bit. How close are we to... No. No, 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 no. Let's head to Tom's Rest. Hopefully bump into Captain Kidd somewhere. That's a pirate raider. That's not Captain Kidd, but still... I believe that- oh, was that actually Captain Kidd in the corner? I think it was. Hey, we have Grape Shot now. Excellent. That was 30 men, so that was a great shot. Alright, Rapier, let's go. Um, I messed that up. That's quite the sword he has, though. Like, what is that, some sort of a cleaver? Probably, uh, probably counts it as a cutlass, though. So it's pretty slow. Uh, 1,000 gold from a raider. I mean, it's fine. Captain Kid, there he is. Argh, matey. A vast ye landlubbers. Or, right, just lubbers. Okay. So we're gonna, uh, evade that. Get close enough for a grape shot. He's trying to bomb rush us, but sh since he's actually sailing towards the wind, we have the ability to just nail on him a bit. I mean, it sounds so wrong. We actually got hit by some of those. It's fine. We lost a cannon, but sure. Let's keep to the front so that he can't attack us again, and let's go. I'm pretty sure that there's really supposed to be something that he's saying, just like Baron Raimondo basically saying something like, Arrgh, you finally found me! But I'm not gonna complain. Let's just fight him. Barry, why would you keep a sickle on the ground like that? I will never know. Especially, what do you need that kind of sickle on sh a ship for? I'm sure there's a use for it, but... Here we go. Let's show him some swagger before he goes down. And for those of you wondering, yes, this is the scene that I took uh, of the Avatar for the uh, for the thumbnail on my videos. That was a lovely bounty. Just listen to that. It sounds so nice. Eighty-two hundred. That is basically eight more crew members that we can maintain. We're gonna key, uh, I mean, take the ship. The sordid career of the third most notorious pirate, Captain Kidd, has come to an end. Do we go for the trade galleon as well? I believe we do. I, at this point, we already have a big enough bounty on our heads. I mean, reward on our heads from the Spanish, but they just shot one of my cannons off my ship. That was my favorite cannon! Oh, you're on now. They're trying to escape us, so let's try and hit them with a chain shot. E that hit, excellent. It actually slowed them down a little bit. This way they will stop trying to run away. This will make sure of that even more. We got hit again. Why do my sails get damaged 
Like, oh God, they fire a round shot at uh, a round shot at me, and my sails take more damage than their sails do when I actually shoot them with a chain shot, specifically made for sail. Are they actually trying to outrun me? And apparently they are almost succeeding. Come on. No, they're, they're gonna get away. Because their round shots somehow hit my sails bad enough, they're going to get away. Alright, let's just stop chasing. This is gonna get tedious. Yeah, yeah. Spanish smuggler, he probably has some luxuries, but something tells me he's probably just gonna escape us, just like this trade galleon did. Um, let's see, we should probably head to St. Atticus and try to get amnesty. If not here, then in Santa Patientia, uh, and try and get amnesty in either Cumana, Caracas, or Puerto Cabello. Uh, so that we can actually get into the town, or rather, into the port. Possibly. Yeah, they're shooting at us. I know. I know. Stop shooting at me. I said... For the love of God, can you stop? Spanish Raider. Wonder where they're going. Right, so there's Kumana. There is the monastery. And what is that? Spanish trade galleon. All right. Trade galleon. That's fine. We're not gonna attack him right now. Omission. Oh, that's the word. Not um, not monastery mission. Yeah. Talk to the abbot. I see that the Spanish excellent have put a price on your head. Yet I sense that you're a basically good person. If you wish, I will send brother. Paolo to my friend, the governor of Kumana, and he will grant you amnesty upon my recommend recommendation. I will escort the man myself, because I know for a fact that at least one, if not two, pirate, pri or rather privateers, are going to try and stop me. Either that or pirate raiders. Pirate pri privateer, pa 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 pa, he says. Alright, so let's go after those. We're not going to let them ruin our chances of getting amnesty. I'm not sure if privateers actually carry any good loot, but we're, we'll see right now. Pew pew, we all know how that goes. What? What am I doing? we go that's more like it here have a bucket and kick the bucket uh, no they really do not have anything useful but that's fine I mean it's not really I would love to get some I mean my hands on some luxuries as at least Let's actually fire a grave shot at them before we, before they board. There, they almost lost half of their men. This guy actually looks like Blackbeard a bit. Oh, he says as he goes down. Warning: fleet speed reduced. That is okay. We're gonna get rid of these ships anyway. They are still firing at us, even though we literally have an abbot with us. The priest proposing Spanish pirate amnesty has arrived in Kumana. Excellent. So we were able to enter the city without attacking or looting it. Let's actually speak to the governor. Maybe we might actually get some... Promotions. Excellent. The king will be excellent. However, it has also come to my attention. Oh, come on. I thought you gave me amnesty. Thousand gold pieces. Ah. Uh, sure. Let's see what we can do. No, we're not going to be attacking the French, but let me see if I can actually get 
Congrats. Excellent, the king will be pleased. Are you kidding me? I've taken down so many pirates and you still don't give me anything. Fine. Bill, what do you got for me? Vila Hermosa, I'm not interested. I tremble with apprehension, Kaiser. It's said you're now the fourth most notorious pirate. I mean, we took down the third most notorious, so... Yeah. Uh, actually, let's check... No, wait. No, that is not what I wanted to do. Are you kidding me? Please don't tell me he's gonna get away because of that now. I misclicked. Oh, okay. Let's get him. Let's get that bounty. He tried running away. Foolish man. Alright. He really doesn't strike me as the kind of man that would really survive that kind of fall and still be able to actually move around as much as he does. But, hey. Thank you for the help. You're a master swordsman, sir. Quality spyglass. Nope. I will take the 5,000 instead. Merchant. Uh, the cannons are pretty good, I guess. Three gold. Uh, food, that's too much. Let's keep enough for eight months, as always. Uh, what else? Shipwright. And let's sail. Not sail. Sell. Some of these ships. Yeah, sell it. This, will, this one is probably the one that kept slowing us down the most. Uh, so there we go. We'll repair it and we'll repair our ship as well. This way we can actually keep hunting you ships. Ha ha ha. Right, so let's che check our status real quick. Uh, 21 points. I guess that's better than uh, what we used to have. Attractiveness. Attractive in Barbados. I'm not sure why it's showing this one. I would actually prepare to... Uh, I mean, prefer to have a romance with the daughter of the Port Royal uh, governor. So we got a letter of mark now from the Spanish... Um, we also got quite a few promotions this uh, video, I mean this episode, so that's pretty nice. We can't really find our sister yet, we have to chase down Baron Raimondo first. But, uh, yeah. Guys, I think we're gonna make a cut right here. If you enjoy what I do, please consider liking the video, uh, comment, please comment uh, down below. I really do pay attention to the comments as much as I can, and actually uh, take into serious consideration any um, feedback as to how I can get better, what you think I should do next, uh, or anything of the sort. Uh, also, if you like what I do, please consider subscribing as well so that you actually know when the next episode comes up. I do upload daily, so hopefully you never run out of content to watch. If you do, I'll make sure I really do upload daily so that you can look forward to the next episode. So, guys, as always, I will see you next time, and as always, ad gloriam.